Hello fellas and welcome to my sixth part of um, our platformer tutorial. Um, in this one we are going to do um, double jumping and I guess we are going to do smooth camera movement, bounce for the camera and uh, some custom inspector stuff um, uh, later. Um, not in this part though. Um, so let's just jump right into our game so first off we are uh, we have to open our script obviously our player script so the way we are going to do our double jumping is by doing this um so first off we are going to create a new boolean um, just comment Just to organize stuff, um, and then references. All right, let's create a new boolean called um, public bool um, can double jump. Right. Um, so let's go down to the part of the script where we do our jumping, which is right here. Um, so. We are just going to um, move this down. So first we're going to delete it and then going to create a new if statement and just say grounded like that. Hmm. Um There we go. Um So when we are grounded, we will set can double jump to true because we're on the ground and then we'll set our variable to true um, and then we are going to say when we are not grounded and can double jump is true we are going to um, add some extra velocity on our y-axis so we double jump so we are going to say else which means uh, the opposite of grounded if it is false and which means we are in the air we are going to uh, say if can double jump is true um, then we're going to set can double jump to false because we just uh, we just uh, we just double jumped and um, so here we are going to say rb2d dot velocity dot y equals to zero, um, and we are not going to set it equals to zero. We are going to set it equals to um, rb2d dot velocity equals to new vector two rb2d velocity dot x. So we don't affect the x velocity. And we're going to set the y velocity to zero, so we are we are not moving on the y axis when we're in there, and we are doing that because then we can like add some extra force and double jump. Um, so it doesn't matter how fast we fall down, we still can jump upwards. So that's why we are resetting our y velocity. So um. Now we are going to add the force to the player, and we are going to do that by um, saying rb2d. Just checking if I'm recon. Yes, I am. rb2d. The add force, just like up here. Um, vector two. That up, which is upwards, and times our variable jump power. Um, so yeah, jump hours over here. Um, so yeah, um, if we go into our game again, check if there's any errors. Nope, nothing. Let's try it out and see what the res result is. Uh, we can jump and we can double jump. That's great. That's that's awesome. So um, 
you can also uh, what I did in my game, my um, my dwarf game. Um, I uh, actually multiplied this, or I mean, I divided this by. What did I do? Oh, wait a minute. Can't remember. Oh yeah, I divided by um, 1.75 to reduce the uh, second jump power. So you can do that to um, uh, to reduce the second jump power, so um, it doesn't jump uh, as high as the first jump, which is which I think is um, is awesome. So yeah, that is basically it for the double jumping. Um, I hope you understood everything. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions or any problems. I will try to fix them or help you fixing them. Um, so yeah, uh, stay subscribed. Thank you for watching. See you later.